a very good morning my dear budding scientists welcome back to the science class i'm sure you loved learning about the states of matter with me and now you already know certain facts about matter like anything that occupies space and has mass is matter so technically speaking everything around us is made of matter matter comes in three forms solid liquid and gas after exploring the forms of matter let's try to learn about their uses let's start with solids solids are so very useful for us they have a definite shape and that's why they are good for many purposes the chair that gives support to your body when you sit on it and the pencil box that is used to contain your pencil and eraser they are both solids solids are used for making so many things for example if we talk about wood it is used to make furniture bricks stones and iron are used for making buildings steel and aluminum for making utensils and gold and silver for making ornaments look around yourself i'm sure you're surrounded by many solid things right now your pencil and the device you are watching this video on all are solids after solids let's move on to liquids can you name a liquid you cannot survive without you guessed it right water is a liquid which is necessary for the survival of all living organisms like plants human beings and animals i'm sure you drink 6 to 8 glasses of water every day to keep yourself hydrated by the way which is your favorite liquid to drink juice or milk i hope you know that these provide you with many nutrients children if you believe that liquids are used only for drinking you need to give it a second thought there are some liquids which are used as fuels in vehicles yes i'm talking about petrol and diesel and liquids such as mustard oil sunflower oil and olive oil they are used for cooking after learning about the uses of solids and liquids let's try to explore how useful gases are i believe all of you are aware of the fact that living things need oxygen to breathe and how do plants prepare their food they require carbon dioxide for it and yes a gas called cng is used as fuel in vehicles and lpg is used for cooking in your kitchens have you ever heard of a gas called chlorine yes children it's a gas which is used to keep water clean i'm certain you must have smelled it in your swimming pool while swimming and helium it is used in balloons so children i'm sure you are amazed to learn how we use different forms of matter in our daily lives yes matter matters a lot so isn't it our responsibility to use it wisely and ensure that it is not wasted in any form let's promise ourselves that we will take every possible measure to conserve our resources on this note let's find up today's class we will meet very soon to begin with a new chapter till then take good care of yourselves because as i always say you matter a lot to us bye bye